Welcome to LA County and USC Roski Eye Institute. My name is Martin Herr and I am the interim chair of the USC Department of Ophthalmology. I hope that your virtual visit today is both informative and enjoyable. The strength of the ophthalmology residency at LA County and USC Roski Eye Institute is the combination of breadth of pathology, the surgical volume, and a mix of supervision and autonomy in the setting of a collegial training environment. Our goal is to train the future leaders of ophthalmology. We want our graduates to have options when they finish, be it either matching into a subspecialty fellowship or choosing to go into comprehensive ophthalmology. Our graduates who have opted for fellowships have consistently matched into their top choices. And many of our graduates also are uh, thriving in their private practice. There's no question that our residency training program is rigorous. This is why, in addition to academic achievement, we look for collegiality and teamwork in our future uh, residents. Our principal objective here at USC is to provide and train exceptional ophthalmologists with strong foundations in basic and clinical ophthalmic science, as well as strong foundations in the most up-to-date, state-of-the-art surgical techniques. The uh, USC Roski Institute combines the strengths of four remarkable training institutions. The Los Angeles County USC Medical Center, the USC Roski Institute, the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, and the Veterans Affairs and Medical Center of downtown Los Angeles. These four remarkable institutions combined with the expertise and commitment to faculty who are dedicated to medical education provide a wealth of opportunities for residents to experience a tremendous diversity and complexity of clinical pathology and clinical challenges within a supportive learning environment. Our residency program seeks to attain that rare balance between resident supervision and resident autonomy. And during uh, the course of residency, we strive to give our residents a progressive amount of autonomy, um, ultimately allowing them to be skilled and confident um, when they enter independent practice uh, when they complete residency. At LAC USC, in the resident-run clinics, there are full-time USC attendings that staff those clinics, and while at USC, CHLA, and VA, uh, the residents are under direct supervision of those uh, clinic site attendings. So we produce some of the strongest residents uh, and fellows in the country mainly because we see such a wide variety of ocular pathology that comes through our doors and we ourselves are the ones who are treating it uh, and so we are able to then go out uh, whether it be into our fellowship or on to being an attending and take uh, with us all that we have learned here and feel comfortable managing a, such a wide variety of disease. So the reason I chose to do my residency here is specifically because of LA County and the experience that it's able to give the residents. You run that clinic, you have your own nurse, your own room, you set your schedule. It's a ton of responsibility, but there's no better way to train as to how things are gonna be when you're an attending. So the academic and surgical curriculum and clinical curriculum at LA County is really a perfect sandwich, okay? First and third year you spend primarily at LA County, um, and second year you spend most of your time with the all-star attendings at uh, USC Keck as well as some time at CHLA. First year it's a really great and amazing team bonding experience, um, and you spend mostly all of your time at LA County with some time sprinkled at Keck. Um, and every single year you do spend, uh, you do rotate through every subspecialty, so that's unique with it. Our curriculum so you really have uh, heavy exposure to all of this and then third year you're really um, you're kind of just running the show at LA County um, you're having the ability to teach the first years you're running your own clinics at LA County working up your own cataracts um, and basically just having an amazing time with the, the first years and the third years and your own seniors as well. The call structure of PGY2 year is Q7 we split up console days and call nights and we generally get a post-call day off, which is amazing, um, ensuring that we're well rested and ready to get right back to it. Uh, my experience on call has been uh, very humbling, but also extremely rewarding. We provide emergent eye care to essentially the entire greater Los Angeles area, and um, we're working closely with our fantastic emergency department colleagues to respond to often high QD ophthalmologic problems. The volume gets very, very um, busy, but I can always count on support from both uh, faculty, uh, co-residents, and um, also all our uh, colleagues and other specialties at the hospital. Um, it's really inspiring to see just how capable and 
and uh, confident our senior residents become um, after handling call uh, at LA County. And one of the unique things about our program is that each resident has their own continuity clinic. Um, so you follow these patients over the three years that you're here, you get to see how your care changes their disease course and see how the, man the management decisions that you make um, uh, eventually affect the patient. Um, and we also have the privilege of working with some of the most um, genuinely kind and appreciative patients at LA County. I chose USC for a lot of reasons. Uh, first and foremost, I think, was LA County. Uh, I really wanted to train at a county hospital. Um, where I could serve underserved population, um, see a large variety of pathology, um, and I think it's such a privilege to take care of these patients. Um, and then second reason was uh, when I came to interview at USC, um, I just remember you know, feeling so welcomed, um, talking with the residents, the faculty, they all felt very approachable, very friendly, and uh, that was something really important to me when I was choosing a residency program. Our residency program was excited to offer its first ophthalmology integrated intern year program starting in July 2021. We've created this program so that it will give uh, our interns a strong medical and surgical foundation of knowledge and to also give them maximum exposure to services that will be most relevant to ophthalmology and to services that they'll work with uh, most as an ophthalmologist. During the intern year, they'll spend three blocks on ophthalmology, and our interns will spend that uh, primarily with our consultation service at LAC USC. Uh, this will allow them to understand uh, the hospital system and be become more familiar with it, uh, and they'll be on a team with the first and third year ophthalmology resident. We believe that diverse clinical pathology and surgical experiences alone are not sufficient to ensure that residents receive a high quality education. Therefore, we have developed multi-layered clinical and surgical curricula that augments and supplements the hands-on training residents receive at LA County Hospital through a combination of lectures, wet labs, case conferences, and other didactics. Our residents are provided a structured learning environment in which they can develop a strong fundamental base of ophthalmologic knowledge. So every morning, we start the morning off with pre-rounds, and this is a time where we meet with our fellow residents and our seniors to go over patient cases that came in overnight so that we have a good grasp of our approach to patient cases before we start the day. And then we go right into morning lectures. So these lectures are given to us by our attendings, who are some of our top specialists in their fields, and they give us clinical pearls and different approaches to complex patient cases. It's just a great way to start the day spending that time with our fellow residents. One of the great things about this program is just how much didactic time you really get. Um, you know, every morning you'll have an hour lecture, but on top of that, every Friday we have a lecture series where we go over each chapter of the BCSC in a structured way over an 18th month period. And I think the great thing about this is for me has been you know, not only are you seeing this to as it shows up on tests, but these are patients that come into your clinic door every day. And so by going through this in such a structured way, you're really learning how to treat these patients with these rare diseases, not just know how to answer them on tests. And with journal clubs, you know, we basically get to choose any place we want. And so we'll choose, you know, the five star restaurant on Yelp that's too expensive for any of us to afford and uh, we get to enjoy all the free food we want, all the free drinks we want with our co-residents, our attendings, and then you know, at some point in the night we, we discuss the journal. And what happens is it becomes a great way to just eat the delicious food that Los Angeles has to offer, but also learn some great content and material as well. We've developed a robust surgical curriculum here to ensure that our residents come out as strong ocular surgeons. Their training experience starts as first year residents when they are performing pterygia surgeries as well as minor ocular plastics procedures in the minor procedure room at LA County Hospital. There they receive supervision from attendings who teach them the basics of suturing as well as operating under the surgical microscope. At the end of first year, residents start to train on the ISI as well as joining their senior residents in the operating room to learn each step of cataract surgery. By the end of this process, they are ready to perform the entirety of cataract surgery on their own patients from their continuity clinics at LA County. By the time our residents are senior residents, they become the primary surgeons at LA County Hospital. There, they perform the vast majority of the cataract surgeries 
in addition to ophthalmic emergencies such as open globes. They also participate in a wide variety of cornea, glaucoma, oculoplastics, and retina surgeries. Our job is to ensure that while you're here, you get comprehensive training in clinical and surgical ophthalmology, but while you're here, you'll also have the opportunity to perform cutting edge research with one of our basic or clinical scientists here. And so the Department of Ophthalmology has a strong tradition in supporting residents um, in performing research. Um, our department is ranked number one among all ophthalmology departments in the U.S. in terms of NIH funding. And our residents um, are strongly supported by their mentors and have the capability of performing a wide array of research to support our residents. We have generated a resident research repository, which is basically a repository of active projects so that the residents can look through this database and find a project that aligns with their interests. In addition, we've developed a research curriculum to help the residents navigate uh, the research environment here at USC. We're really lucky at USC that we have a, quite a variety of faculty in every subspecialty. Um, they all have very different research interests and they're happy to get you involved. Um, we even have a formal research curriculum where people can list their uh, research topics for residents to take a look at. Coming along with all this research opportunity is also great mentorship from these faculty. Um, you get to know them really well as, and, uh, personally um, through various events and journal clubs and dinners. Um, for example, for me, I've been doing research with Dr. Bernstein and Dr. Zhang, and the uh, projects have been really interesting and very productive. Um, they're very good at guiding uh, residents to reasonable sized projects. Um, it's been a lot of help for fellowship interviews uh, and also just their support, uh, calling programs on your behalf. So you feel really supported from a research and mentorship perspective here. So the research curriculum is a three year long curriculum where we try to help the residents with providing guidance as to how to conduct research as well as to prepare them to present at national conferences such as ARVO. All of our residents have an opportunity to present at least at one national conference um, during the course of their residency. We also try to end some of our days together as well. After busy clinic days, we often will, you know, take time to enjoy the incredible city that we are in. In a normal time, LA is a place where you can go to the beach, you can go to the mountains, and despite everything going on, we still take time to safely and socially distanced, uh, spend time together outside of work and try different foods, go to different places that we can be outdoors together. The ultimate aim of our training program is to train the future leaders in ophthalmology. Graduates who complete our program will ultimately go on to pursue career paths in clinical practice, teaching, and research.